the couch because we've got normal things that are happening in the studio here. There's snakes and goannas and crocodiles that are taking over the program. Good morning to you both. I'm quite Good pleased morning. to say you can go that way if you'd like a Herner. That's, that's very gentlemanly of you, Charles. Yeah. <laughs> David, Anthony, good morning. Do you want to slide back morning. here because that crocodile's yeah. a bit close to you there? <laughs> oh, oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, yes. don't, don't need the snake over here. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, no, oh my God. we don't want that. Okay. Is it? Is it's, it it's, it's her friendly? name's Tinkerbell. No, and uh, is Tinkerbell she's friendly? She's really friendly. Tinkerbell going to eat that? Oh, my God. Oh, no. I'm oh, my not God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's all right. I'm all right. The reason they're here is that Sydney Zoo has launched a new experience allowing you to get up close and personal, very, very personal, <laughs> with some of the animals. And zookeepers David Kirshner and Anthony Stimson oh. join us from uh, Sydney Tinkerbell's, Zoo now. Tinkerbell's oh. going around. Tink can we just... Can we get Tinkerbell's face? Tinkerbell. <laughs> Tinkerbell. Herno's being brave, um, which is good. Uh, firstly, Tink you promise, are we safe? And I think we've already answered that, because we're not. Hello, fellas. Hello. G'day. How are you doing? What have we got here? And Tinkerbell aside. Oh. Tinkerbell seems to be going for the throat region. <laughs> <laughs> we've got a young saltwater crocodile. Yeah. Then olive python. Yeah. And we've got a lace monitor, also known as a goanna. Go That's go Joanna Goanna. Mm. Joanna Goanna. And this is all part of a, a great uh, new attraction for zoo goers. Yes, we've got uh, daily wildlife shows twice a day, 11 o'clock and 1 o'clock. Very entertaining and very educational. Really good for kids. Uh, Anthony is fantastic with children, gets them engaged, and they end up learning a fair bit on the way. Look, I've managed to calm down enough now that I can <laughs> actually well. ask you a question. Absolutely. Because um, kids, they can get up close and personal, obviously, with them, and they, and they handle the situation a lot by me. Can I just ask before that, Tinkerbell seems to apply a lot of pressure to my arm. Is that OK? Yeah, yeah it's okay. just holding on in case the, in case the branch falls. OK. Um, but this is obviously... Kids must love doing this more than me right now. Especially. Yeah. Especially, yeah, they're busting for it. Yeah, yeah. and that, that hands-on contact is really good for uh, engaging children with wildlife. So just, you know, as they grow older, they'll, you know, they'll think, oh, I remember that time at the zoo, and yeah. I feel more protective towards wildlife, which is. Well, it's, it's yeah. amazing to be yeah. able to get this close, right? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Let's get along. I, I, it's certain. <laughs> this one here might. Yeah, might, might not. <laughs> might have a little crack at them if they yeah. could. But yeah, but, yeah the, the, these. These big pythons like eating furry animals. Okay. okay. Yeah. Luckily. You stay over there, Charles. <laughs> but they're all very cold at the moment, so none of them have got an appetite. It's early really in the morning. If we can then crank the air conditioning. <laughs> yeah. That's what That's really in the morning. Safe. Zero yeah. what, appetite. What does, um, what does oh. Tinkerbell like eating? Uh, well, I mostly Female feed Female reporters? <laughs> mostly rats. Mostly, mostly rats. Rats, yeah. Okay. Tinkerbell sneak around the back again. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, uh, pythons are actually a good thing to have if you've got, uh, if you live yeah, in New South Wales, you've got a diamond python or a copper python in the roof of your barn yep. or in the attic of your house. They're really good for controlling rodents. I might give that for you, Charles, next yeah, Thursday. No chance. Of the <laughs> <laughs> Enough time with these when I was growing up. Oh, horrible things. Uh, how can families make the most of these <laughs> attractive and wonderful <laughs> things that we have here? Well, Sydney Zoo is a, a great place to go visit with the family. Um, we're open seven days a week from nine until five. And uh, it's a great day out. The zoo is very accessible. It's very flat. So if you've got someone in a pram or someone in a wheelchair or a mobility scooter, it's a fantastic place to go. And we've got lots of new animals and we've got new encounters as well. So you can uh, pay to pe feed a lion, feed a tiger, feed meerkats. Wow. Yeah. Uh, come watch a crocodile being fed close up. A bigger crocodile. We've got a really <laughs> big male. He's 4.1 metres. So uh, lots to do. And, and from here, they are beautiful animals, aren't they? And Australian animals that are oh, yeah. Great. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. They are actually really easy to sell yeah. as um, something we need to protect. Yeah. yeah. And their habitats, everything needs to be looked after. Oh. And, and what kind of reaction do you get from kids when they manage to get this close to the animals? Oh. Usually, usually better than the parents. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is the case in No, case it's, 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 what, you'll, what you'll normally see is you'll see the parents going, I don't like snakes, yeah. but I'm going to let my child, and the, the, and the, the child's very interested. Well, Tinkerbell yeah. and I are becoming friends now. Yeah, that's good. S slight friends, distant yeah, friends. Distant friends, <laughs> Well, gentlemen, thank you for bringing these animals in and... You're very well. Also for Charles, do you want just... Do you I, want to just I'm, are you I'm probably sure? okay for Just the tail. Just a touch of the tail. Yeah. Come on. Just the tip of the tail. No, <laughs> <laughs>